Salutations, settlers. This is Udalali, and uh, here I am taking you through my first voiced-over tour of one of my Fallout 4 settlements. This particular settlement, Hangman's Alley. As we come through the front entrance, you can actually see that this is a, a main building structure of concrete, metal, and wood. And I've created a nice neon sign to welcome my settlers. While we're taking a look around real quick, I do want to thank all the great settler, uh, settlement builders and the community here. I love uh, watching videos from Draco Invictus, No Respawns, and Mad Queen Show. Thanks for building such a wonderful community and uh, allowing me to be a part of it. Here we actually have uh, a bathroom that I've created out of the only building that you can't really scrap out of uh, Hangman's Alley. You can use this building for anything. It can be uh, uh, electrical junction box or storage. I just felt it was far enough away from my main building area that it'd make a pretty nice setup for a restroom. As we come down from here, we're actually gonna see our Brahmin pen. For some reason, the Brahmin can't cross uh, over this little, al uh, little alcove area, the entranceway here at this alcove. So I put my Brahmin feed drop in here and it makes for a wonderful Brahmin, uh, a Brahmin area. We're now gonna go take a look at our basketball court, which I have called the Holy Court of the Eternal Flame. This is where any settlers that have any differences with one another can uh, battle it out over a game of basketball. What I've also done here is I've created a memorial using an Eternal Flame motif. Eternal Flame is actually built by uh, using a rug glitch to place a uh, fire, a campfire, underneath some metal floorboards that you can see here. My settlers have left some personal objects and other things that they want to offer up to those uh, in a greater power. I really like some of the more memorials that I've seen in some of the other builds that uh, some of you folks have done. So uh, this is kind of uh, my interpretation of those memorials. Some graffiti left by my settlers. Now we're going to head into the uh, front entrance way of my main settlement building. Main settlement building, uh, as I said earlier, three levels, uh, concrete, metal, and wood. This lower level is a little more utilitarian. It's more for my some of my storage, my workshop areas, uh, just a place where I can uh, work to uh, make better tools to take back out into the wasteland. It's a small seating area. I definitely wanted to play with that angle in the building. Here is my workshop area. The uh, dresser here on the left is actually where I keep all of my junk decor. And at the uh, container at the very top of the wall there is where I keep clothing for my settlers, I'm hoping to start uh, doing some different clothing choices for them shortly. Here in our kitchen, you can see I've been working with a little more in our junk decoration. Tried to make this a nice lived-in area. Thinking about taking down that Brotherhood of Steel flag. I'll tell you why in just a moment. Here you can see our table. Some more junk decor on different uh, spaces. And we're gonna go head up to our first level, which is gonna be some of our bedrooms and personal areas for my settlers. I'm thinking about taking down the Brotherhood of Steel uh, flag that you saw earlier, because I'm thinking that this actually, I wanna kind of theme this building about the railroad. Uh, we're so close to so many other aspects of the railroad here in Hangman's Alley, that I think that would make a nice uh, theme for the settlement. Here we come into some bedrooms. Here's our first bedroom. I actually like these lights here on the right. Uh, I actually added them to an outside wall of Hangman's Alley, and they work really well as bedroom lighting. Here's a second bedroom. A lot of builders get kind of frustrated with Hangman's Alley because of all the electrical wires. I just feel you have to work around them. Try not to let them get in your way. Here's a little uh, art area, a little art gallery area. And now we're gonna be heading up to the third level with some more bedrooms and things. Once again, here's a minimum flag. I'm probably gonna be taking that down as well. Like I said, I think I'm gonna actually put the focus in this building 
more on the, the uh, railroad rather than the Minuteman or Brotherhood of Steel. A couple of more bedrooms. Another storage area. As we come around here, you can see that on to our left, you can actually get up onto the fire escapes of the outside buildings from here. And here's a nice uh, entertainment area with our TV and radio. Here's a set of bunk beds that I first saw from Mad Queen Show, but I've seen so many more builders use. Uh, it's a fantastic way of setting up bedrooms for your uh, smaller space areas, so I'm very excited to use those. Each bedroom in here, I've tried to create a, something a little different because I, I feel like these personal spaces are where our settlers would show their individuality. This bedroom actually overlooks the uh, Holy Court of the Eternal Flame. Morning coffee ready to go. I also like trying to use our uh, different pieces of furniture to break up the rooms. Seeing as we don't have a lot of interior wall stuff in our building structures, using different cabinets or dressers to break up the look of these rooms so that personal space can be seen between a sitting area and a bedroom area kind of makes sense. And I feel like settlers would do that just to try and uh, allow themselves some privacy in a, in a space that normally would not allow for any. Okay, we're going to come around now to an area with our uh, Minutemen, or excuse me, not our Minutemen, but our railroad flag. Here is uh, above our front entrance to Hangman's Alley. Because of the frequent raider attacks, I've really tried to make sure that my automated defenses are up to snuff here. So you can definitely see a lot of turrets. My, uh, my settlers aren't really ready to face raiders and things, and I don't want any of them dying. So I'm trying to make sure my automated defenses are up to the point where my uh, settlers don't have to worry about it. Here we're going to head upstairs to rooftop access. You really can't build any higher than this level here in Hangman's Alley. You can put walls on this level, but you can't build rooftops. So here we are looking over the uh, back entrance to Hangman's Alley. And I love this apartment sign, so I'm, I'm so glad we were able to have it as a focal piece for this rooftop access. Rooftop gardens include, of course, potatoes, mutt fruit, and corn. I decided to go with these because I want this facility to actually help me build more adhesives. Always running low on adhesives when I'm building stuff. Here's another look over the front entrance. All right. We're now going to be heading downstairs to take a look a little closer at the back entrance to Hangman's Alley. While we're doing that, I just want to take a moment and ask for uh, comments. Let me know what you think about the building, what you would like to see in decoration. I know one of the things I'm going to be working on future videos is actually doing themed rooms. I think uh, one of the things that we would like to see more about is uh, decoration, and I hope to be able to offer that to you in the coming weeks. Pardon me while I jump over the settler. Sometimes they just get in the way. All right, we're heading out now to the back entrance here at Hangman's Alley. Here you can see a water pump station, some more bathrooms. I've actually uh, blockaded the side entrance to Hangman's Alley with some concrete, so we didn't have to worry about raiders coming in that way. And we'll just take a little quick walk out here. And turn around so you can get a scope for about the building here in Hangman's Alley. As you can see, we've completely covered the alleyway. Uh, this just uh, adds a little more permanence to the look of the building. And I definitely like the feel that this is something that the settlers have been building on layer by layer over the years. Well, thank you so much. I do hope that you will uh, come and join us again for future videos. Hoping to have a video or two out a week. Uh, until then, uh, have a great time, settlers. This is Oodalali.